everybody, this is Tambiota, and you're watching The Daily Review. So today we have, uh, this is kind of going back to Combiner Wars. This is from the Prime Wars Trilogy. This is a, a three-set special edition that they did, um, I guess, to kind of get out figures that they weren't able to get out in uh, in other releases. So this is uh, Blast Off, which you guys may remember. Um, we got some weird figures in uh, in Combiner Wars where we got a plane instead of a spacecraft. And now a lot of people were like, okay, well, we understand this with it being military vehicles and stuff. This is kind of a, uh, this is a good upgrade. It's people that remember and wanted him to be a space shuttle. Uh, they didn't get that space shuttle, so they were kind of upset. Uh, well, Takara decided to... Uh, basically make this new figure uh, when they released their EX series for um, United Warriors. Now, they then took basically an entirely new figure. Um, they made it more of the, say, show accurate, cartoon accurate. Well, this version right here is more toy accurate. So, um, this, is, this is what this version is. So, this is just basically the U.S. finally releasing... A, uh, a space shuttle, a proper piece for Bruticus. Uh, we have the the some artwork right here. We have the uh, the boxes, the figure inside of there. Um, we come here, and if you take all three of the boxes, if you would have seen on yesterday's video, you stack them all together, and it makes a one large photo. <clears throat> this is the back. Uh, basically, it says it takes 15 steps to transform him. And there's a little a little bio snippet type thing up there. It comes with a special edition of Megatronus, and you can, if, it, if we open this up, you're going to see him right here. He is a clear, uh, they used some clear pieces on him to make him, and they painted some stuff, so it looks really cool. That's weird that they used this Perion here. I wish they would have actually used, uh, used Bruticus instead of Superion. That would have made a lot more sense. Oh, well. So there's a uh, some stuff on the inside and you can see uh, even the inside the the back paneling the the back portion back here uh, you can see they're using the uh, um, what was that combiner wars patterns and, and stuff back there so it, it still says for some reason it says power of the prime back here but if you look right here it says combiner wars and then the only thing really different with mine is I, I did order it from overseas I ordered it from robot kingdom so I do have this import sticker here uh, these were released in Japan also or other like uh, in, in China and stuff and, and some other places at, uh, at their Toys R Us's, so they were able to get these also. Uh, now, us here in America, they are a Amazon exclusive, so if you see them up, then you can order them. Uh, basically, that's the only way to get that, is through there or through a, uh, a third-party distributor. So, all right, well, let's get this guy open so we can check him out. Okay, so we're back. And here we have Blastoff. He's in his robot mode. This is the mode that he comes in inside the packaging. Now I have boosted up a little bit the, uh, I guess the brightness on the camera. Just because he is such a dark figure, especially with all the black on the legs and then the, uh, the brown here everywhere else. Uh, no, this is a, a nice figure. They did a lot of nice work on here, especially with the the tempos right here with the, on, on his chest. Uh, the main difference that you're gonna find between this release and the uh, the United Warriors release is um, that they made this piece right here his front. Uh, now the only main difference, main being. Uh, I don't know. Did they did they flip his head around also? I don't know. I have to see. Um, really tell from the picture that I have, but that would make sense if they popped the head off and flipped it around the other way also. Um, but uh, from what I understand, is they just popped the shoulders off and flipped them around. 
off the ball joint. Um, so you can basically still do the same thing, you just need to rotate everything around the other direction. But um, yeah, they did do this to make it uh, make it more accurate for the uh, for the figure, and this is the way that they transformed um, whenever they made him a part of uh, Ruination when they when they converted him into Shuttler. So, uh, one thing that I did see that a lot of people or or um, some of the uh, the promo pictures had where they had his feet like this. So it made him look like he was standing really weird. Uh, kind of like that. Uh, what you want to do is you just bring it over like that. And he looks he looks fine then. So, so that you properly bring his, his feet out. So now inside the packaging, you also have a couple of things. So you have his, uh, his instructions. And this is done on a, a very glossy paper. This isn't like the same kind of paper that we usually get with the instructions where it's just uh, like a regular type of stock paper. This is very shiny. Uh, he comes with his, uh, his gun. And we'll go ahead and put that in his hand. He comes with his hand foot attachment. So we'll just put that off to the side. And then he comes with his uh, a special edition version of Megatronus, and it's really nice because it has it has that clear plastic on it. So let's really quickly we'll bring in regular Megatronus, and you can see the differences between the figures, and then and then the backs. It's really nice. So he has no real place on this guy because he's not really going to go anywhere. It looks like it sticks out a little bit. He's not really going to go anywhere. He doesn't fit anywhere in there. He was just an added bonus for for this set. Um, so uh, real quickly, let's go ahead and uh, transform him. We're not going to show how to do um, uh, limb modes because I don't have I don't have because I don't feel like that would be a proper thing. Uh, maybe at the end of the video, I'll have his limb mode and I'll show that off. Uh, but just as a picture, I'm not going to show how to transform it into uh, into that limb mode. Uh, now let's see here. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and start with the legs. So you want to come down here, and a lot of the transformation it, it says that it's a new figure, but a lot of the engineering for the transformation is very familiar. As you'll, as you'll see that this is just, you're unslotting this and bringing these around. And all this stuff, it's going to have two tabs. There's a tab in the back and then a tab up in the front. Just tab all this. Ooh, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait up, wait. A second tier. Uh, man, i got to pull this apart. I'm very careful with these fins, um, mainly because uh, just pulling it straight out of the box, it looked like there was already some kind of stretch fracture right here, and uh, so I don't want this breaking on me. I'll take this, the feet, and it'll go up like this. Pinch those together, and then next we want to bring the arms down. And with the arms down, there's a little tab right here in the slot. Just push all those together. From what I understand, um, there may be some kind of issue whenever you get them into one of the modes. I don't know. I don't know if it's arm or foot mode. Uh, with the arms, but uh, I don't, I don't think there would be much of a problem. I don't know. I haven't. If I figure out what it is, then I'll, I'll let you guys know. Now, something that kind of uh, that kind of worries me about this is the only way that I can figure out to really bring this up and down is to just push it like that, and then 
bring it up like that. Well, I feel like that rubs on, potentially could rub off uh, some of the uh, the paint app right here. And uh, that, like I said, it kind of worries me. Uh, now I've, I've brought up his head a little bit, or I spun around his head so that you don't see it, but you don't need to do that. I don't see where it would go if you flip the head around. And there's some tabs that tab into the shoulders. And this will come up. Come on, bring that down. Okay, and then the gun. Gun you store up underneath here. And it kind of seconds as the front wheel. If you see that, there's the wheel here and then there's the two wheels back here. Uh, they're not they're not functioning wheels, but they're they're supposed to represent the tires. So there we have blast off, and he is in his his space shuttle mode. Uh, now you have this piece right here. You can attach up to here. Uh, there's a few spots you could attach them onto the arms. Uh, you can come underneath. There's a couple spots underneath that you can attach them. Otherwise, I just set it off to the side. My main, 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 main gripe with this figure is in this mode, and it's these. Um, now, with this all sticking off the back, it makes the shuttle look like it's way longer than it's actually supposed to be. And it makes it look like this this um, horizontal fin, uh, this hor horizontal stabilizer is actually vertical stabilizer. Vertical stabilizer is is way forward than it should be. Like it should be back here, but it's mainly in with the bottom of these feet. I think if they didn't wouldn't have had these pieces right here, I think it would have. I don't know. Th these thrusters are way big for uh, for a space shuttle, anyways. So, all right. So to transform him back, we'll basically we're just going to go in reverse. Um. So we want to remove the gun. Like I said, this is the part that kind of scares me. So you go like this. Let's bring this back. Got to open this up a little bit. And then you flip it down. And when you flip it down, it rubs up against this. And I don't know any other way to do that. Packs onto the back, pull this up, pull the arms up, leave the arms out a little bit so that we can then split this. So you want to be a little bit careful, um, like I said, with the uh, with the fins. The fins do tab in to each other on the top, so split that before you go yanking on the legs. like I said mine already has fracture or, or stretch marks on there stretch marks stress marks on there and uh, I really don't want those breaking off now you can leave it like this I prefer to go like this I don't know that's just that's just what I prefer because you can flip them around or if you want to you can pull them off I guess if you wanted to you could one of the arm or something I don't know it's just a port down there all right so real quickly for articulation here the head is on a ball joint so you get uh, all kinds of movement on there the uh, the shoulders on a ball joint so you can go back you can go forward you can go out to the side there is a cut right underneath there so you can pivot a elbow bend that allows you to go all the way like that to, mainly because of transformation. He has a, uh, a waist swivel but it's very tight um, for that, uh, that, that click into place and it, and it makes it tight on both ends. See? Okay. Uh, then you come up here right underneath, oh, the uh, hip joint is a uh, as a ball joint so you go back 
you got out to the front, you got out to the side, you have your swivel, you have your knee, and then uh, when you come down to the feet, the feet have uh, a, a, basically an ankle tilt so that it can tilt in like that. And that's a, that's a strange feature for a deluxe. So. And then if you want to, you can use this to uh, balance out the foot if you so chose to for like a toe articulation, I guess. All right, well, that is gonna be it for this video review of Blast Off. If you did enjoy this, go ahead and give us some thumbs up. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and do that. This is Tambiota, see you guys next time.